Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome back to another uh, Cannibal Crossing quickie. Today, I figured I'd talk about a situation that just happened uh, yesterday that has put something that I used to sing great praises into jeopardy in my mind. Uh, the United States Postal Service, USPS. I used to love the United States Postal Service. That's that's a bit that's a bit of a lie. I I I, I think it's fine. I thought it was fine, and I played a board game that centered around being a mail carrier in the USPS on this channel. And I said, like, don't ask. I saw it at Target, alright? I saw it at Target, so it'll be fun, and I, it was pretty fun. I don't have the game personally, I just wanted to try it on Tabletop Simulator, and it was fun. Good game, which really shot the USPS into my favor. So, when I was looking, <laughs> in convenience, for more board games, uh, there's a game called Three Ring Circus that just came out recently that I wanted to play, and I really wanted it, because I saw a Rado run-through of it, and it was fucking cool, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. So I buy it, and I got a couple other games, so now I get free shipping, but it's way more money than I would have been spending otherwise, so it's, but it's good, because these are games I wanted. I got Great Western Trail, the second edition, uh, and Calico, so I think my sisters would really enjoy that game. Um, but yeah, so I got those, for those of you who care about board games, and... You know, we did the whole thing. It's like, hey, it's a pre-order, so it's gonna take a while for us to get it in stock, and then we can ship it to you. Like, okay, that's fine, whatever. I don't care about that. All I know is I'm gonna get them eventually. Which is, which is at the end, no spoilers. Well, you no know, spoilers. At the end, I may or may not get it. Uh, and so, like a week ago, pops up, and it's like, hey, we're finally sending this thing out to ship because I've been looking like every other day because I've been fucking super excited about this thing coming to my hands. I really want to play it, and I haven't played it yet. Once I'm done with this, probably gonna play it because it looks really fun. I really looking forward to it. But besides the point, uh, I finally get a notification saying, hey, your thing is shipping. It's great. You're gonna get it soon. I'm like, okay, great. What's he shipping with? USPS. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. You know, that's fair. That's pretty good. You know, I love the board game. So I got if it's if it's, they have a board game about it, if they if the USPS is in a board game, they're gonna treat my board games with the utmost care and respect that they possibly could. And so I wait like four days, and it really hasn't moved. It was I got it from a gaming place in Arizona, and. I'm waiting, and every day I see it's still at Arizona. I'm like, why in Arizona? Why is it still here? I feel like it should be shipping at some point, right? And then after like four or five days, it just goes from Arizona to my city. <laughs> and it's just like, oh. No, there's no in-between. It just went from there to there, randomly. So I can only imagine the fucking escapades with horses and planes and spaceships that happened like in the board game happened with my package, because it went from... A to B with no in between, no filler time. It was really literally just like a someone taking a move on a board game. So I, I really do think that's just how the USPS run their services. Uh, and but then it's there. I'm like, okay, great, this is good. And then I wait another day, and it gets from the city to the town that I'm in, or like a, more like a, a closer city, I guess. I was in my county, and then it went into my city. I, don't, I think that's how that works. If not, it's the other way around. But I'm like, okay, cool. It's even closer now. This is perfect. I'm... This is great. And then it sits there for like two days, just not moving. I'm like, okay, you know, I get it. It's It gives me the time. It's supposed to come yesterday. So it was supposed to come on Tuesday. And by the time it gets to my city, it co it's like, oh, like Sunday. And I'm like, okay, you know, if it has to sit there for a couple days, it sits there for a couple days. But I would like it to, because it's, it's right there. It's literally like maybe a 10 minute drive, but I don't drive. So it'd be like, I don't know, like a couple hour walk. And it's just like, you know what? Maybe I can try to just get it. You know, I can try to just, just, just go there and get it anyway. But I look up if I can do that. It's like, yeah, you can. You have to, you have to do all these things to like market as something that you're just going to pick up instead. Because for whatever reason, you can't just say, hey, I want to pick up my package when you get there. You have to like go online and find your package and mark it as like a, I'm gonna pick it up. So there's only, you can only pick it up or deliver it. There is no, there's no do both, apparently, for some fucking reason. You can't just say like, oh, yeah, I might come pick it up today, if not, just send it out, uh, whatever works. No, so if you choose to get it picked up, you then have to commit to picking it up at some point, which is the weirdest thing to me, but whatever. So, I'm like, I'm not gonna do that, I'll just wait for it to come. And it finally comes around to that Tuesday, well, that Monday night, and it's like, hey, it's out for delivery. Uh, you should expect it from 7.45 a.m. 
to 11.45 a.m., a four-hour window, and I'm like, okay, this is good. I worked that yesterday, so I'm like, okay, I'll be able to get it, and I can maybe, I worked at four, so I was like, okay, you can, like, play a round of one of the games that I got, which is just, just amazing. That sounds awesome. And I wait, and I wait, and I was actually supposed to stream yesterday, but I was expecting a package when I started streaming, so I was like, I'm not gonna do that, because I feel like it's not like it's an important pack. I could have just put it down, but I wouldn't. I didn't want to put it down. I wanted to, you know, fucking open it up and play it. It was gonna be my little board game morning. It was gonna be awesome. Um, and then like ten thirty rolls around, and I'm getting antsy because I'm like, why is this not here yet? You know, like this really should be here by now, right? I mean, like, where did it? Like, like it, it, it's a four hour window, so I still have like an hour left. But it's just like, I feel like. They give you a four-hour window, and it usually gets there within the first hour or two of that window. Uh, and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and eventually it's almost 12 o'clock. And I'm like, what What happened? Why is it it's still not here? I look outside numerous times, and I'm like, it's not here. Where, where, where is it? And then I look back at the, at the, at the tracking app, and then it says, actually, uh, it's going to be there from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. And I'm just like, god damn it, really? Man, that's a bummer. Like, it's fine. I'm still going to get it. I might still have enough time to play it. It's good. I'm, we're going to get the board game. We're going to get them in the next couple hours. We'll be fine. You just push through. We got this. It's going to be great. Uh, and then around, like, 1... 120 comes around. And my sister's like, hey, I got the our guinea pigs. Because we got new guinea pigs uh, a couple weeks ago during our vacation. If you didn't check out the Strand Deep Conversation, I talked about it. Now you know. Uh, and we were like, hey, we got a new cage for him. It's much bigger, so if you can help, if you want to help me set it up, I'm like, yeah, fuck it, why not? Sure, I got nothing better to do. I'm still waiting for this. It's probably going to take too long. And it really didn't take too long to set it up. By the time, like, 130 rolled around, we pretty much did most of the setup that it needed. It's a pretty good cage, so there was some screwing we had to do, whatever. Um, and around 130 rolls around, and I'm like, okay, let me check the app now. And it goes, oh, uh, well, what we really meant was that from 12.30 to 3.30, you should be expecting your package. So I really hope that it gets there in good quality and in the right time, because it's going to be great. So wait till like 3.30, tops, tops. All right, come on, come on. You, you, you can trust us. What are the USPS? Why can't you trust us? I'm like, God, man, this sucks. You know, I... I <laughs> Because at this point, if it comes at 3.30, I need to be out by 3.30 because I'm leaving at 4. I have to be at work at 4. So I was like, I'm already gone, and I can't even at least look at my board game. So I'm like, all right, this, whatever. I'll, I'm still, I'm doing this anyway. I might as well just keep doing it. And, you know, we're, we're still setting it up, and then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to check again. And I'm gonna, so I look at the app, and it says, and this is like at like 1.50, close to 2 o'clock. It's like, Oh, hey, yeah, at 1.40, uh, your package was dropped off right on your patio, so go get it and help you enjoy. I'm like, why didn't you just say, be like 10 minutes late? Why did you have to give me a whole extra two hours to expect to wait? And then I, I, I only to give, deliver it 10 minutes late. Like, what, what, what you could have just said that. You probably get, like, they probably get, like, not good marks or something if they're, they were late or whatever, but whatever, man. Like, just, I was not expecting that. And so then I get the package. I'm like, yippee! But I'm like, let me finish with this. Because obviously I'm not going to leave her there. Because we still had to take out all the stuff from the old cage. We had to transition them in there. We had to clean out the old thing to put it away. And overall, it, we got done with that around like 2.15. Uh, which was around the time where she had to get going to work. So she <laughs> was rushing to get out of here. But at the same time... My sisters were trying to bring... My other sister and my older brother were trying to bring in their dresser that they got because they just got a bunch of stuff that they were moving out from their home in California. And they're trying to haul in this dresser. So they're trying to shuffle around it and get around everything. And it gets to the point where she finally, like, wiggles out of the way. Because that, that, that dresser was taking up the entire freaking door frame. And eventually they wiggle out and they say, Sayonara, and they leave to go to work. I'm like, alright, see ya. And in the meantime, I'm like, okay, I can go grab my board game box. But like, you know what? No, I, I can help with this fucking dresser. It's really in the way anyway for everybody. I might as well just help them find where they want the home for it to be. So we move it around. Uh, we try pushing it into like a little narrow hallway that we have. Uh, but it's a bigger, it's a more busty uh, dresser than we, than we normally had over there. Uh, so we get stuck trying to put it in there. We're like, oh, we can't really 
can't really move through this doorway. <laughs> so, what ultimately ends up happening is we have to bring it all the way back out, and then we have to push it all the way back in, but in, this, in a different orientation, which somehow makes it work. Then the, somehow one of the growers got all knocked out of place, so I'm trying to figure that out. And ultimately, it's like maybe 3.15, and finally done with all getting all that crap from outside. And putting it inside and getting the guinea pig stuff all figured figured out. So it's like ten, it's like three fifteen, and I'm like, okay. Well, I have some time. I'm gonna go look at my board games. And at that point, I'm just like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that because there's no point. Because I'm gonna look at them and I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't want to play them. And then I'm then I can't. So I figured I'd just wait till I get home from work. And then I did. I went to work and I came back. And as I'm about to open the box, <laughs> it's like, hey. Uh, the, their water is leaked, and I think we put it in too tight. Can you, can you help me with that? Like, uh, because she, she's, I, when we had guinea pigs, I took care of them for the most part, so she's still kind of new to it, so I'm like, yeah, I'll help out. It's cool. I'm down to do that. Uh, so we did that, and eventually, I'm like, okay. I'll, and then we started talking in their room, and I'm like, okay, I'll be right back, because <laughs> I, I needed to fucking open this damn box. So I finally bring them in, and I open it, and I'm like, ah, oh, my board games, my pretty little baby board games this is amazing. So, and and, the, and they're awesome. Uh, I, I do have them, so spoiler alert, I do have them. I've punched out all the cards. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing uh, probably Three Ring Circus, Great Western Trail, and Calico. They're all really cool games. I've played Calico. I'm going to play it for uh, Table for One. <coughs> now that the Great Western Trail is a solo edition, I might do that for for Table for One as well. I want to try to do some more solo -y games instead of just like multiple player games, because I did that for a while when we first started this uh, Table for One. So I'll try to get some sort of solo player stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it that I have for you guys today. Um, I just wanted to talk about my horrible experience with the USPS and then my horrible experience trying to open my package. So, you know, just a really great time. And also, they, they their emails were so slow. It gives me another reason why I hate email. I'm waiting for emails to like show up saying it's coming. Uh, it That email didn't show up for three hours after I got the package. It, it showed up at like 4.30. That I got that it was delivered. I'm like, if I was relying on that email, it could have gotten stolen off of my porch. Like that's not good. So f fix your shit, USPS. I still I don't hate you. I just think I'm disappointed. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in. See you next time. Bye now.